Hello everyone. Today we like to share a nice West Indian delight. It's one of our favorite snacks and street food. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to Riza and Farida Ali for being a big supporter of all the West Indian, Guyanese and Trinidadian vloggers. It's Caribbean Ducks. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, Please go ahead and consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started in our mango sauce here. This is our mango sour recipe. We have some garlic, one whole mango chopped in pieces, two cups of water, hot pepper, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon salt, and some mixed masala. And we're just going to cook that down in a pot with the water. So here's our dry ingredients. We got some green seasoning, lots of garlic, our dal, our split peas that's been soaked overnight. One cup of flour, dry yeast, salt and pepper, some jeera. Now we're going to blend everything together here along with some scallions. We're going to chop our garlics here to make it easier for this blend. And add everything together. Some nice hot pepper here to spice things up a little bit. So we're using a food process here to chop everything into fine mints. This is about a consistency that we're looking for here. Nice and smooth. We're going in with our green seasoning here. And about a one cup of flour. So we're going in with one teaspoon of jeera some salt to taste, some chopped scallions, and one packet of dry activated yeast. We're gonna mix it all together here and add our water slowly. And a little bit of turmeric that adds a little bit of flavor and the f coloring to it. So we're gonna mix well here. And this is our batter. This is a, what we call a blurry batter that we're gonna set aside here and let rest for a little while before we get back to that. All right, now our mango sauce is coming along the mango is well nice and tender and to aid in the process we're using our stick blender we're just gonna puree everything down to a nice fine consistency and this is what it's looking like here now this is our mango sauce now we're gonna get our yucca chopped and peeled And this is how we peel our yucca, folks. Now you can use a peeler if you like, but if you got the skills, you can go ahead with a sharp knife right underneath the skin and remove that outer layer. And then we're gonna set it aside and wash everything. So now we're gonna just split it in two so it's a little bit more manageable to boil and it'll besides that it'll cook a little bit better so now we add all our yucca cassava 
add a little bit of salt into this hot boiling water and let it cook away for a few more minutes in the meantime we're gonna get our eggs boiling after about 20 minutes the yuca is nice and tender and we're ready to remove it while it's hot we're gonna start working with it we're just gonna smash everything together with a nice potato smasher and it's best to work with the yuca as soon as it comes out of the pot really hot and for our fish ball our fish we're using tuna you can use any type of fish to make your fish choker so we're going in with a little bit of scallions and garlic and we're gonna saute that in some oil along with our tuna and we're just gonna basically stir fry that a little bit of mixed seasoning Keep in mind guys you can use any type of fish that you would like we're just doing a quick something here so we're using the canned tuna you can use fresh fish as well boil it down strip it take the bones out and then refry it like we did here now our eggs already been cooked and we're just cooling it down in some top water and we're just going to remove all the shells at this time and set it aside I still see a little bit of shell there but we'll remove that as soon as we get ready to work with it and we're going to continue with mashing our yuca we're going to add about two tablespoons of green seasoning as well and the wife is going in here with some yellow coloring that gives it its nice signature color and out of this batch we're gonna make our egg balls we're gonna make our fish ball and this is how it's done folks first you want to wet your hand and then roll a nice little ball make a little indentation in the middle then we're gonna set our eggs in the center and then fold everything right over just like we demonstrate here and then we're gonna continue to roll it into a nice even ball and this is how we make our egg balls and we're gonna set it aside on our floured plate and get our oil ready okay for our fish ball we use our yucca mix make a little indentation in that and then we're just gonna pack it with the fish mix And we're just gonna fold it over and roll it into a nice log set it to the side now our oil is already hot so what we're gonna do is lightly flour our ball our egg ball right here get ready to ease it into that hot oil And we're gonna repeat this process, lightly flour and add it to the oil. And 
and this only takes just a few minutes after about two minutes we flip it keep it rolling as soon as we get that nice light brown color we're ready to remove it because remember everything has been cooked already so we're basically just getting a nice bark on this just to color it we'll fry it just a few minutes and this is how it's done folks a nice egg ball then we take it out and set it to drain the excess oil off on some tissue paper this is our egg ball now we're ready for the fish ball We're gonna do the same thing, lightly flour and let it fry for just a few minutes. After about two to three minutes, get that nice golden brown color on the outside. We remove it and let it drain. This is it, our fish ball made with tuna and our egg ball now our polari mix has been set aside and it raised a little bit so we're gonna punch it and give it another mix to get some of that air out and we're gonna make some bigony here here the wife is demonstrating how she cut the eggplant into thin medallions about a quarter inch thick We're gonna set that to the side and this is what we call bigany this is another way they enjoy eggplants now we're gonna salt each side of the eggplants what that actually does it removes some of the moisture besides adding flavor now we're gonna get our mixture all ready here. Oh, oil is hot and ready. And first what we're gonna do here is make some polari. So look at the technique here. And that's how we make our savory polari snack. And when it starts floating, you just move it around just a few minutes until it's cooked well. And you start getting that nice golden color on the outside. Then we remove it and set it aside to drain and cool off. This is how we make our polari, folks. Now for the bagani, that's going into the same polari mixture. What we want to do is coat this eggplant. What we find that works best is if you hold it in your hand and just coat it evenly and then ease it into the oil. This is the way we do it. This one didn't come out as pretty 
but this will be the first one that I sample. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's not as easy as, as it looks. A little bit messy, but I'm getting it done. flip this after a couple of minutes about a minute and a half on each side this is it folks we got plurry bagani egg ball and fish ball I hope you guys like this demonstration give us a thumbs up Please remember to subscribe. We're gonna enjoy this now with some nice mango sauce. Guys, let me know if you remember these roadside savory snacks. If you ever had them at the schoolyard from the vendors, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like our recipe. Let us know your memories of the savory snacks. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Now it's time for me to dig in with some nice savory spicy sauce here as well. Just the way I like it. Guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. Caribbean ducks